And the diagnosis that I was given that made me shudder and made me nervous will be reversed. Just speak the word, God. And those things uh, that the school counselor said about me, that I was not college material and that I would never make it. Uh, but you told me, oh God, that you had crowned me with your loving kindness and with favor. Mm, you have told me through your word that greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. So obviously the counselor is not acquainted with your word, but I need you, oh God, to speak a word to me. Have you heard the word? Have you heard the word, my brothers and my sisters, that is able to keep you from falling? Have you heard the word of the Lord that is able not only to keep that which you have committed unto him, but have you heard the word of the Lord that is able to turn your midnights into day? Have you heard? Have you heard the word of the Lord? that is able to do abundant things in your life. Have you heard the word of the Lord that is able to turn things around in your favor when it looks like you have lost the fight and you've lost the game? Come on now, have you heard the word? Oh, you've heard the word from the attorney? You've heard the word from the physician. You've heard the word from the car repair person telling you it's gonna cost you $1,300 when you know good and well that's only a $349 job. But have you heard the word of God? Have you trusted in the word of God? Have you believed the word of God? I commission every one of you here today when you leave this place, when you get beyond those doors, ask God to give you a word. And when he gives you the word, believe the word. And the word might be to love your enemies. Oh, no. The word might be for you to be the first to apologize. You might not like the word you hear. But ask God to give you a word. And when he gives you the word, you speak the word.